Good day, YouTube. The uh, I was gonna say the FA zero thirteen again. Damn it! <laughs> Stormy Ascent is back again for another part of Let's Play WWF Warzone. This is part number ten. Or is it no nine? Or is it ten? Crap! I think it's. Let's see. We got seven wrestlers there, and I had two grudge. Match. Well, no, sorry, we have eight wrestlers there. The, right? <laughs> that was embarrassing, right? Uh, I don't know what part this is, but whatever. We're gonna face Ahmed Johnson this part, and I should. Uh, I don't think I'm actually getting any lag. No, I'm not. I'm okay, that's good, right? That's the first time I've actually started the recording and haven't gotten any lag, so that's good. But um, yeah, we're three matches away from winning the WWF Championship, but of course we are gonna get a grudge match sooner or later. So yeah, we'll have to take care of that one. Hopefully, it won't be a cage match because that would be really annoying. But, um, yeah, I'm a Johnson. God, that guy. Uh, the reason I'm saying he's hilarious is just because of this. This is a hilarious series on YouTube. If you liked, you know, the Attitude Era, even if you're not even, like, a wrestling fan, I think you should watch this. It's called Fun with Ahmed, and, of course, now my game is lagging. But, yeah, okay, that's better. No, no, it's not. Crap. No. There we go. Oh, shit, I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh, god damn. Right, okay. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, Fun with Ahmed is what it's called. Even if you're not a wrestling fan, I think it's actually really, like, it's just funny to everyone because it's just this guy gives Ahmed Johnson subtitles. And because you could never understand what Ahmed Johnson was saying. He just, like, he went through, like, a bunch of, like, you know, promos for Ahmed, jo or, like, for Ahmed Johnson or, uh, segments or whatever. And just, like, gave Ahmed Johnson subtitles. And it's just, well, uh, it's one of the first things I ever saw on YouTube. And it, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen on YouTube. And, and that's going back like four years so yeah there you go but yeah a, a fun with Ahmed absolutely hilarious I have just it's just so goddamn funny so yeah I really am a big fan of that series and there's about like five or six episodes I think I can't remember the, na the username the guy who uploaded it's like Sonny Bone or something like that but um, yeah, I absolutely love uh, fun with Ahmed. So yeah, uh, the best one is like when uh, <laughs> uh, what is it? He's like uh, it's like a promo or a segment against Stone Cold Steve Austin, and it's like um, <laughs> it's just uh, some of the stuff he gives him. Like he says something about like a Ferrari or something like crashing or something like that. It's just so funny. So, yeah, and now we got a chant going for us, so we're already kicking ass, and, um, okay, hopefully, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do, like, a match where I don't look at my move list and just try to remember each move, like, as it comes, so, yeah, I, I love doing the overhead belly to belly, though, because that's uh, a nice one to do. But okay, right, come on. Alright, uh, what do we do here? Yeah, splash! That's it. Uh, Owen did use the splash, I think, on a few occasions, not always, but I think he did use the cross body uh, uh, sometimes, I know that. So, yeah, um, he used it against, um, what was it, his match against um, Hunter Dust, so to speak, also known, you know, or the artist formerly known as Goldust, as he was known as then, I know that makes no sense, but, yeah, when, um, yeah, that, that's a funny story, actually, when um, Owen Hart won the European title, he actually beat Goldust for it, but uh, Goldust, or Dustin Runnels, was dressed up as Triple H, and uh, Sergeant Slaughter, like, took that to mean is that he was actually, like, Triple H's proper replacement, and he, like, uh, awarded Owen Hart the title. And it's just great because, you know, the European title was my favorite title, Owen Hart my favorite wrestler, so it's just great that he actually held that title, so, yeah. And that was the last singles title that he ever held, uh, unfortunately, so. There you go, um, but okay, I haven't done a flying head scissors that much, so I might as well try it. Oh, crap, never mind. Uh, I'm not sure if you ascend the ranking if you win by count out, but as I said, if you do, then that'd be a great thing for me to exploit, because, uh, yeah, uh, okay, come on, I want to get back in the ring, please. There we go, right. So, yeah, oh, crap, I <laughs> damn it. It's just the mechanics in this game can be so dumb sometimes. Oh, God, right, okay. Come on, I want to do a head scissors. That's it. Yes, there you go. So, yeah, and, um, uh, what do I have here? Okay, I'll do a gut wrench. Yeah, the combinations are actually pretty easy, and, and you can do, like, two different combinations. Like, uh, for the gut wrench, you do, um, right-left triangle, or left-right triangle. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, but I, I just, uh, still can't seem to remember a lot of these, um, combinations. But then I just tried to do some kind of weird forearm smash there, but it didn't work. And once again, I got knocked off the freaking apron. God. 
Right, in this game you can't actually... Oh, pff, oh god damn it. Right, in this game you cannot, uh, what is it, you can't uh, run into the ring, but you can do that in WWF Attitude. So yeah, it's interesting to know, I suppose. But yeah, this chant is lasting for ages, and as soon as I say that it ends, of course, right, great. So I could, I, I should have just shut up and it probably would have kept on going, but there you go. But okay, let's see what we do here. Okay, uh, I think it's, it's just like a big back body drop, so yeah. Uh, I think I pointed out that they call it a pump handle slam for some reason in the move list. So yeah, I don't know why they do that, but okay. Um, do a pile driver. I haven't really done the pile driver here because um, maybe it's because of a subconscious thing that I know that it's banned in real life, so I don't want to do, do it in this game or something stupid like that. But um, yeah, the incident where um, Owen Hart accidentally broke Stone Cold's neck. Well, was probably like really one of the things that led to the pile driver being uh, banned, and uh, I, I assume uh, most people would know about that. But if you don't, then it was at SummerSlam 1997. Uh, Stone Cold, and I think it was 97. I, I always get that confused for some reason. But yeah, pretty, it must have been 97. But um, yeah, uh, Stone Cold was already having problems with with his neck, I believe. And then um, what happened was uh, Owen like did a tilt to whirl, um, kind of. Press, but he uh, and then he like got oh or he got Austin in like the position for a tombstone, and the tombstones move that Owen Hart actually used uh, quite well not quite but fairly frequently actually even when the Undertaker was in the company so that's interesting to note but um I think Austin thought that Owen was gonna go for the tombstone but uh, he for some reason Owen like uh, just like changed his mind and went for an inverted pile driver whilst Austin's neck was exposed. And fucking hell, I just like watching that, it's just awful because it's just, you can see his, oh god, his neck was just smushed into the mat. And uh, yeah, that took quite a number of years off of Austin's later career. I, I'm not sure if I've already spoken about this, I might have, and then I'll just be repeating myself. But yeah, um, really big shame that that, that accident happened, so... There you go, but um, I I could have lost there because like Ahmed was like making a comeback and I was just rambling on about the freaking pile driver, but yeah, luckily he's on uh, red now. So okay, kick no, okay come on no no crap right no balls right I'm just gonna keep on using the small package to win matches just to take, take like just yeah to take the piss because I can't be I can't remember the code for the sharpshooter again. It's it's, it's just it's too freaking long. It's like right right up square and X or something like that, but yeah, okay, right, uh, uh, oh, I did it, okay, it was right, right up square and X, but okay, now we might actually win the match with my, um, submission, so yeah, I'm going to press all the buttons as I do, which is, I know, really annoying for all of ye, but there you go, right, okay, come on, I'm almost there, oh, I almost won it, oh, damn, right, I don't care, small package time, oh, no, no, I messed that up, okay, whatever, but uh, yeah, if I put in the sharpshooter again, I should probably win. So yeah, might as well try it. Okay, right. Right, right, up square X, and yes. So, I don't know why they like hit the combinations for the special moves in this game. That was a really stupid idea. But yeah, now we're getting there, so yeah. Okay, that's it, that's it. Sorry for the button mashing that you can definitely hear. But yeah, there you go. That's the end of that chapter, as, um, Troy Mc not, not Troy McClure, uh, friggin, who said that? Uh, I, I, this is the second time in one of my Let's Plays that I've questioned who actually said that in The Simpsons, but it was, it, it was like that one episode of The Simpsons where the Homer Simpson character on TV, not, not actual Homer Simpson, like, he, I don't know, something, yeah, I won't go on. <laughs> you may have conquered the others in the World Wrestling Federation, but you have yet to knock on the door of the Reaper. Your weak soul can't possibly handle the power of the dark side, and I will make your death as painful as I can. That's quite uh, portentous, I must say, especially considering how like Owen Hart died, but yeah, okay. In the next part, I'm going to face The Undertaker in a grudge match, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you then.